what's up guys um, today I have a video on killing floor 2 and this is mostly going to be a guide or tutorial on how to get started off correctly um, there are a lot of factors that play into your money and how you spend it like the armor uh, grenades of course and your ammo but uh, starting off the crossbow okay this is probably the best if not the most efficient weapon in the entire game um, in order to get the crossbow by the first or second wave I guess not the round you need to get 650 coins or whatever that stuff is I don't know what it's called I also like to play a survivalist when doing this because it is the easiest way to rank up it is the easiest operator to rank up anyways because all you have to do is deal damage with any weapon and it will um, give you XP for that but anyways it gives you a random weapon at the beginning of the round um, I usually sell this weapon to get at least a hundred dollars I guess um, once you get to the trader pod uh, go ahead and sell your first weapon like I said and it should be if you can't find it go to the type and it should be in projectile but I'm a survivalist right now and as you see it is 650 dollars and it does cost 231 to refill the ammo um, you're gonna go and want to do that if you can't then it's okay because that does cost a little bit more but it shouldn't matter because the arrows are retrievable anyways. Um, the crossbow can do collateral damage, meaning that if you shoot one Z, it can go through another Z behind it if they're lined up correctly. It does have 35 in total if you do buy the refill. All can be retrieved. Uh, it is only a single shot. And it does have a scope, although I don't really use it as like a sniping kind of weapon. I usually use it just to get the auto aim on, as you can see in this uh, gameplay. But, um, now I'll get into the stats. This is all going to be on normal difficulty. Um, a gore fast, it will take one arrow or shot. Um, these are usually the most common ones. Or not the most common, but you see them a lot. Um, crawlers, they are also one shot. And they are sometimes hard to hit because of them being them and jumping. And um, The stalkers are also one shot. But these are probably the most difficult to kill with the crossbow because of their invisibility cloak. Um, this can get annoying, as you see. I waste like three o arrows just trying to kill one in this uh, in this video. But um, if you see them, they'll get close to you, and you can just, without aiming, just fire, hit fire, and it will most likely kill them. Um, the bloat, the big guys, they are surprisingly three shots only. Um, this is all on normal difficulty, anyways. Maybe if you get a headshot, it could be two. I'd say around two to four shots. Three is what works for me, but it may be different for y'all. Um, the clot, that is the most common. Um, of course, they're very easy to kill. They're just walk, and if they grab you, you can just shoot them in the face with the arrow. Um, the siren are the probably most annoying ones. Um, they do take three shots. Um, it's very hard to hit them in the head with the crossbow or any Z in the head with the crossbow but yeah they do take three shots um, the husk those are usually pretty easy to take down being that once they fire their fire shot I guess you can usually dodge that and then shoot two or three shots into them um, then on the flesh pound those are the strongest non-boss Zeds. Um, they're the ones with the two, uh, what would you call them, saw things on their hands that they charge at you and they become really red. Um, I do not know how many arrows it takes to kill them. 
I've shot at least probably 10 into one, and it hasn't died, but you can try that out if you want. If anyone does know that, then let me know in the comments, because I, I want to see that. Um, but then the other one is the Scrake, the Scrack. The Scrake, I guess, how you say it? Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that. But that is the dude with the chainsaw in one hand. He's kind of like the the flesh pound. He gets really angry if you deal damage to him. Uh, I also do not know how many arrows it takes to kill him. I know he is weaker. He is weaker than the flesh pound by far. But I do not know how many arrows it takes to um, eliminate him. But uh, anyways... Um, overall, the crossbow is one of my favorite weapons. It doesn't deal the most damage, of course, because that would be the RPG or the C4, C4s four C that, the ones that you can, like, detonate on the ground, I guess. Um, but it is very efficient, as I said before, because you can easily just shoot an arrow, kill a Zed, and then go get it. And if you actually shoot consistently, and you know where... You your shots are then you don't have to buy ammo at the next round you can use that money for for instance ammo for another weapon such as the deagle which I use a lot as my pistol because I don't like the starting pistol it's kinda garbage in my opinion or you can use it for armor of course which is critical to like surviving <laughs> um, grenades which you can also get from other players but um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. If y'all want to know any other things about, or if y'all have any other ideas about the killing floor, or any videos that you want me to make, go on and comment. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.